All right, we've got some more multi-class action here. Back in the uh, production car challenge. And uh, we're in the Mazda, because that's what I'm used to. And it looks like just about everyone else is in the Mazda. <laughs> Look at that. Um, we got a couple Jettas. We got a couple Mustangs. Solstices did not show up. But uh, it's basically a Mazda race with a little bit of seasoning thrown in. <laughs> a little bit of interest thrown in. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, about to jump into qualifying, we're at Silverstone Circuit, the national configuration. I don't think I've ever been here before. If I have, it's been a while. Because uh, it should it certainly doesn't seem familiar to me. Um, got plenty of practice in ahead of time, which is good. Kind of started learning it a little bit. As this is a uh, open setup series, I've kind of just got a free setup from Major's Garage, their Baseline Plus. It's basically the default. Oh, get these tires warm so we can actually turn. It's going to be pretty interesting. I don't expect to keep up too well since I'm unfamiliar with the circuit. Don't give me the off track. I almost prevented the off track. Oh well. Uh, well, that's how the lap starts. Can you tell I'm new to this place? Um, okay. Noted that it can snap on cold tires. We know that now. Still learning. Oh man. Come on, turn. Oh my goodness. I guess I should have uh, done a little more practice on cold tires. I got used to the way it drives whenever uh, the car is all settled in. So, I'm overdriving now. But uh, probably for the best, I uh, start near the back anyway. I don't think I ever had a choice in the matter. You can dive it in pretty well and good. Well, still overdriving it though. Oh my god, I'm terrible. <laughs> so, this is gonna be a poo-poo lap. We're gonna be going doo-doo slow. Poo-poo doo-doo. Quality commentary. Let's see if we can put it together at least for this lap. Now that we know, we're going to need to take it a little easier. And then we'll see how we stack up. Spoiler, it's not going to be good. But at least I'll have a benchmark. The uh, participation wasn't quite as high as I expected it to be. Um, I think everybody that signed up is in this one race. Uh, I thought we'd get more people in there, because this is pretty popular around the world, but no, it's pretty empty. But that's okay. That's what I wanted to do. I want to use that curb to help turn it. Get me around that corner a little better. So that lap was better, but I'm sure we're still plenty off of the fast guys. So that was a 106.5. P2. Now hold on just a second. That's not allowed. <laughs> okay, that's not even accurate. Okay, P3. Yeah, there's still guys getting their best laps in, so. Um, and that's, of course, of the Mazdas. Because their classes are going to have different times. Interesting circuit. I know it's not the full thing. This is the... Uh, what they call the National Circuit, I guess. And uh, it's, it's Legacy as well, I should point that out. That's why it's... I, I assume that's why this version is free. Because I didn't pay for this one. I uh, was surprised to find out I could participate in this. Because <laughs> it said 
uh, I was good to go. And I'm like, hey, I'll give that a try then. I'm guessing they probably don't throw out uh, Legacy Silverstone too often with like the rookie Mazdas and stuff, so maybe that's why I haven't seen it before. But it uh, seems like fun. I've, I've liked the circuit so far. I don't think I've ever had a uh, real course I haven't liked. I say that every video, too. <laughs> but uh, we're falling back like we should. Uh, sixth of the Mazdas. Not last, though. We did much better than I thought we would. I'll take a look at that for a second. As soon as I get to this straightaway. Yeah, once these tires start warming up, you can really make these corners a lot better. Wow. In front of a lot of people. Oh, hey, I'm proud of myself. Um, let's hope we can race side by side well enough. Don't know how I like take that corner quite yet. Sometimes I like to do first gear, sometimes it's second gear. I haven't quite figured out what works best. I think it kind of depends on how hard I, I go into the corner. Might just have to adjust based on how hard I drive in. You know, if you drive in real hard, you might need the first gear to help get it to turn that little extra bit. And uh, if you get the right angle, then you can kind of just keep keep in second gear. And I think it might be a little faster not to worry about shifting and all that. Still trying to figure out that corner too. It's kind of an interesting one. I definitely feel like I can take it harder at times, but then sometimes I'll overdrive it. It's tricky. It's just uh, just learning the track, like I've learned uh, some of the others. Let's see here, yeah, stay in second that time. And then you definitely go to first here, and then I like to try to get into that curving and help the car turn otherwise you're pretty tight around there so if you get the kind of right sides on the curb there start gassing it it seems to help turn it and then there, you can make up some good time there it looks like not that anyone should listen to what I'm saying about this track that I just started racing and then you can go fast through there if you get the angle right that seems uh, to be a big corner in terms of all the speed you get because there, I didn't do it well, and it looks like a full three tenths that I lost by messing it up. And uh, I definitely expect to be inconsistent. Seventh of the Mazdas, tenth overall. Looks like the uh, Mustangs are going to be pretty close, maybe. I mean, the number one Mustang's a full second ahead, like you might expect, but then uh, got other Mustangs. That are kind of mixed in with the Mazda, so I don't quite know what to expect. Let's get some extra practice in here before it starts. It'll be here. Two seconds, yeah. I knew it was just about time. <laughs> so we're going to get kicked out. There we go. And it's 10th uh, overall, and that should be 7th of the uh, Mazdas. Very interesting. So we'll be faster than the, plenty, mm, faster than the, uh, what you call them, Jettas. So, don't think we'll see those anytime soon. Got our race set up in, because I qualified in it. Oh, that's right, we got rolling starts, too, in this multi-class. So we'll see if we get some room from the uh, Mustangs, but we're going to catch up to them, it looks like. Well, let's see. They're uh, 106.3, 106.5. I might not catch up to them. Some of these guys might. It's going to be interesting. Of course, once they start fighting with the Mustangs, then maybe they're going to fi find their way back to me. I would think they would pull away real fast on some of these longer straightaways, but I was wrong at, uh, at the last multi-class race we did in o Okayama, so... Who knows? What do you know? So I want to take that off, take these off, so we can grab our fast repair if we need it. Always good to remember that. 
looks like just about everyone's loaded up here. Shouldn't be much longer. And uh, I should have used the restroom before I went here. But it's too late now. Time to go. Maybe it'll make me faster. <laughs> While I'm desperately trying to get the race over with. That's the pro strat. It's about 10 seconds. It's going to start whether the people are ready or not. I wonder if some of those guys revving their engines are expecting a standing start. 25 minutes. The air temp is 70. It's definitely not what you expect on a road race. Expect the standing start, not the rolling start, but... Of course, that's just uh, all the other ones I'm familiar with. <clears throat> Moss is leaving some room. Looks like it. I like that. We get, get some room. That sounds good to me. So these guys don't seem to understand the concept. If they're trying to go around me. What is happening? They don't understand the concept of letting <laughs> letting there be room. Oh my god, okay. Well now we got people going. <laughs> nice and messy. Fantastic. Bye. -bye. <laughs> I think uh, we got some single split fun going on here, guys just not quite understanding what's going on. Just leaving some room for the Mustangs, guys. That guy's <laughs> warming his tires up. I'm scared. I, I've noticed more than any other series, these multi-class pace laps are just about the scariest. I mean, there was like a 10 car pile up at the Charlotte Roval one time in this series before the race even started. So... Uh, they're capable of some awful things. <laughs> so, so far it seems like no one's made contact at least. We, we, there's no structure whatsoever. This guy looks like he's ch brake checking me. I don't... <laughs> what's happening? He's still supposed to be side by side. That guy's warm as tires like crazy. I'm not gonna bother. But I would like to actually be where I'm supposed to be. That'd be great. I guess we're going. Oh my gosh, what a mess. <laughs> I mean, I could easily get a black flag here. I just, I don't even know if I'm where I'm supposed to be. I don't know how the black flags work whenever it's this messed up. But uh, hopefully we're fine. Always seems to be an adventure. This guy's got pretty close. There's a guy losing it behind us. I don't know if he got turned or what. Yep. Someone's mad. We got Rex. It looks Mustang related. Alright, fine, they got draft on the outside, so they're gonna go ahead and... Oh, no, we got the draft. Diving it in a million miles an hour, that's something. This has already been quite the adventure. And we're just now finishing lap one. So we got some room behind us. Hopefully that <laughs> it's enough to not get dive bombed like crazy, but you never know. Car's still not turning. The tires are cold. Thankfully I learned my lesson uh, in qualifying, so I don't have to learn it now. They're taking this corner real slow. There's going to be lots of draft to be had down the straight, so I'm glad you got a bit of it here. That guy's a lap down? Maybe got to maybe jump the start or something. That's curious. If 
faster than this guy, but I'm not going to plow through him for it. Try to find a good spot to pass him. You got that get through. in a Still plenty of room behind. All right, good stuff. What place are we in? Last lap, we were seventh. Position. Still in seventh, okay. Good stuff. Guy went a little wide. I think I owned a drove it. No biggie. He breaks way early. Kind of have to dodge him a little bit. We're going to get a much better runoff, potentially, because... Probably took that. Oh, maybe not. That's strange. He just took that corner completely different than I did. I don't know if it was any better or worse, but uh, I had to be ready. Not sure uh, where the good passing zones are here. Kind of just gotta still figuring that out. I don't know. I don't think this guy's much slower. I think uh, we're just. You know, he's better in some areas and I'm better in others. So we'll just have to negotiate it, figure out where we're going at what time. And make sure we don't get in the back of him, especially when he breaks super early on this corner. Locking the brakes up. That's what it looked like in front of us. Alright, I guess he let us through. That's cool. I feel like we can pull away from him. So I was breaking early at a lot of points. All right, P6. I think that's uh, overall too, right? P6. Maybe not. No, that's P6 of a of the Mazdas. Still remembering how this works, multi-class. So he's gonna have the draft now too, so he might not Don't think about go away. Mustang's going pretty wide there. Try to get a little bit of draft. And uh, now I'm going to be able to take this corner how I want. I wanted to all along. Good. That's an all-time best as we burn the fuel off and uh, the car is now working much better plus draft all those factors coming together for a nice lap My first 105 that's cool Overdrove that, that uh, Off track nope Hit some leeway there that's good Mazda went pretty wide. I imagine the draft created by the Mustangs probably a better draft than the Mazda, right? I'm sure they factor that in. I'm seeing a yellow flag, but I'm not seeing anyone wrecked. I wonder where that's located. This guy's hanging on behind us. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on that, see if he tries to make his way past again. Got through there a little better that time. You really wanna try to get your right sides on that curb. 
Cause like you want to cut it pretty good. Hmm. Try to go a little wider that time. I don't think it quite worked out. He's got the draft behind us now, so he's gonna make up some time. quite get the right sides on that curve so that's gonna slow me down a little bit not quite able to go through there as fast as I wanted it looks like the guys in front are pulling away so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to catch up to them I've got a little extra draft to helping them out but I think they're just faster regardless oh man turn car turn such a fine line that first corner. Uh oh, we got a Mustang coming. They'll be able to get past us real easily. So we're, we'll hold our line over here and then they'll zoom past us, I imagine. They really don't have as much uh, get up and go as I thought they would. I thought they were much faster, but just got a little bit more pull. Uh, that's where I expected all the Mustangs to be zooming past us the whole time. So we got another Mustang just right in front of us, getting lapped by other Mustang. That's interesting. They must be pretty hard to drive. Maybe there's a big skill gap. Of course, I imagine the uh, number one's probably pretty fast, too. That's good consistency. Keep it up. I feel like I've seen the name before probably lapping me at another point. So they got a bit, a bit of a mess going on right now. Reel them in a little bit more. We've pulled away from the 16 behind us. Not sure what happened. I don't think I'm faster. He might have made a mistake. Felt like we were pretty evenly matched, so could have been he went wide or something at some point. Oh, we're making up some time now as those guys kind of fight side by side. Might have a chance to catch them. There's a Mustang wrecked. Hey, I think we're going to beat a Mustang today. There we go, that felt pretty good. Could have taken that even a little faster. These monsters are getting bunched up in front of me. Sixth place. Very interesting. Ooh, they're fighting. We're gonna go ahead and join that here in a minute. Oh, we got a one of those guys a lap car though, so we're not gonna be too worried about the orangey over there. I think you do want to go into first there. It seems like I really make up some more time when I do that. So I think uh, from now on I'm going to start going into first there to really get the car pitched a little more. It's a quick shift back to second, but it looked like it was faster. So now we got some draft. We might have a chance to catch up a little bit. Could get interesting. How much time we got? Still plenty of time. I like these races too because they're longer. I enjoy a longer race. Yellow flag. Yellow flag. Oh, they're both way wide. Is that fast? No idea. I've seen people do that before though, just watching other people race this track. Go super wide over there. I'm not sure if that's generally the best way to do it in this car specifically. that a little bit. But, uh, 
I'll watch them. If they're pulling away from me in that corner because they do that, then I'll consider it. They're both like fighting really hard though. You can tell they're get, giving it 110% trying to pass each other, you know, just fighting. It's the only reason I think I'm even able to keep up with them. They'd probably be plenty far ahead if uh, they weren't fighting. I kept in it there even though I knew I was going to go off track. I felt like that might be the fast way to do it after the way I took the corner. That's an ill-conceived pass, I think. Hey, we made some good time in that corner. I think that's because they were just uh, right next to each other, though. I'm not going to make any dives or anything trying to pass these guys because, like I said, I think they're faster. I think I'm only here because they're fighting. Sure are right there, though. Had to lift off a little bit so, uh, so as not to get into the back of them. Driving in those cones. I'm not sure how far you have to go over to get a slowdown in there. But, uh, don't really want to find out either. These guys are looking to wreck themselves fighting each other. Ooh, he broke so early. That guy's going way wide. Holy smokes. Give that draft. Oh, nobody's going over there. <laughs> it's crazy. Madness, I tell you. Almost accidentally double shifted. Hi, I'm here. Don't hit me. Oh, that was close. I guess I'm fighting hard now, too. The guy behind is now seconds. Oh, I missed the turn in because I was I couldn't quite see the track. That's fine. I don't need to be right up on them anyway. I still think these guys are going to wreck each other before this thing's over. They're too evenly matched. It's fun though, pursuing these guys. <laughs> I'm gonna feel alright. How do you think? Yeah, I got plenty of fuel. Consistent on getting in that draft. That time was six, Don't miss my turn in there. There it is. There's the part where he wrecks them. I told you it was going to happen before it was over. They were just racing each other way too hard. So we're top five now. He's going to blame that code, whether it was or not. If it didn't look like it, but that's what he's going to say. Maybe it was. I couldn't see the front end of the car. He told me to load. So we're top five now. That's cool. Keeping on that Mustang back there. He's been down back there for a while, but uh, if he ends up finding a way to catch up to us, we'll have to give him room. Got a lap car being in the way at the moment. We'll have 
this off. Thank you, Dan. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Sorry about that, man. Uh, well, we didn't turn him. That's good. <laughs> he did the other guy pretty, pretty bad, so can't complain. <laughs> well, he can't complain. He should complain because I messed that up. I just got in there a little hard, hotter than he did because I take that corner hard, harder. Glad I didn't turn him. I don't want to pass him that way. I think he's faster. Almost feels like the tires are getting worn now. So they got warm and started feeling good, and now they're feeling worn. <laughs> so. Not right behind him now. So we can take this. Better. Yeah, we just get in there harder. That's how I prefer to drive it so that's how we ended up into the back of them before should have been paying a little more attention to uh, the distances because I like to find out if the way I'm taking that is actually good or not punching the gas pedal <laughs> trying to get it to turn Struggling to keep up. Car's not quite turning the same, so I'm gonna have to back up my corners a little bit going forward, I think. Quite sure if we're uh, if the way we do that's better. Feels like we dive it in there so much better, but I think we get through this section much better. Yeah, we're back up on them now. Gain some time. Let's see if we can get there. I need to stop messing up this first corner though, that's for sure. Had to be a little more patient on the throttle, seems like we kept uh, pretty even for the most part. Some distance on them there by light braking. We just can't do that when we're so close to them, so. Does this thing have brake bias? <laughs> I'll move it back if it does. I wonder if his tires are more worn, or if that's even a real thing because of uh, his fight with the other dude. Bias? Nope. <laughs> no in-car adjustments to speak of. So that's not a thing. About three minutes left. Through there better. That's what I'm trying to do. We're there. We're right here. I think we're pretty evenly matched, so he breaks super early here. Gotta remember that. He's blew his engine. Woo! Oh. Ooh. I 
I hate to see it, man. That was a good battle. Sorry I got into you earlier. Ah, oh, that stinks for him. He just uh, downshifted too soon and it blew his engine. So, that was shaping up to be a good battle. You know, you want to you wanna be able to pass a guy on skill. You know, you don't want a guy to blow an engine or get knocked out of the way or anything. But uh, I guess we'll take it, so we're P4 now, ahead of uh, where we were allegedly supposed to finish. I guess we gotta watch out for that. Just Don't do that. So he might have done what I said I almost did earlier, the double shift, where you uh, mean to shift down once, but you accidentally go down twice, and then uh, you over rev your engine, and uh, it goes boom. Such a bomber. Race is almost over too. I think this uh, next lap is going to be white flag. And uh, we got no one near us. There he is. Funny that uh that cycled out exactly that way. We're not catching anyone at this point. So getting low on fuel, I think that's what that flashing light is for. I wonder if he gets new tires. Every fast repairs. You have unlimited sets, so I would assume you probably do. You probably get a new set. So he'll probably drive away from us here in a second. Well, it's the last lap, so. But, uh. Yeah. So, we're gonna finish right behind him, but, uh. Not after fighting for the spot. We're still going into this corner much harder than he is. Still want to keep up a good pace because uh, I don't know if someone's going to wreck up here and you want to be there before they can get it back on track. But uh, all time best to finish it off here. Get a little bit draft. Alright. And that's it, right? That's the finish. Good drive. There's the finish. Flag, flag. Number four. Right job. You did really well. Oh, that's not a. Uh, that wasn't on my bingo card of how it was going to get done. <laughs> I didn't expect the engine expiration, but uh, that's how it went down. Get myself plenty out of the way. Drive on onto the back stretch. Find a nice parking spot. Alright. Good stuff. Had uh, two Mustangs. Wow. We had two Mustangs beat us, but uh, the one guy that was super fast came in second. That's crazy. I'm sure we'll see what happened to him in the incidents. But uh, sixth overall, P4 the Mazda. In a big field. So that's pretty good. On a track that I had, as far as I remember, never been to. And I guess it doesn't matter <laughs> if I uh, have been here before, because I straight up don't remember it if I have. So... <laughs> We'll, uh, we'll take a look-see. Some of the excitement. Green. 
is that coming to the line? It's, or is that really on the first lap? Either way, not where you want to be. He was unable to save it either. He gets hit. Man, I think it would be lap zero if this was really the start, right? So. Oh, man. <laughs> that is not good. That is not what you want to see. Yikes. Oh, this guy got hit really hard. Yeah, that's what I almost did to the other guy. I was able to slow it down a little bit better. But it seems like there's like a, a number of ways to enter that corner. You got the people that lift early, I guess, to get a better run off. And then you got guys kind of take my style that kind of like dive in there and just kind of try to keep the momentum through the corner. And uh, when the guys don't match up, it can make for some, some bumper hits. Mustang, I think it just showed us that because it kind of went wide a little bit. Interesting. I hope we don't see too much of this uh, nothing. Might just be showing us the uh, curb hits. Oh, that's a missed breaking point. Or is it? Yes, it is. It looks like he was looking in his mirror and then uh, overdrove it way hard. Does it make a safe re-entry? Yeah, that works. I guess maybe this guy was leading the whole time. I don't know. I could have swore. I, I don't even remember this guy passing us, to be honest. Weird. Fanta. Oh, no. So that's the same guy that got hit from behind. He had some bad luck. Easily could have been us, too. Yeah, he's not doing anything wrong. He got hit from behind before, and then now this card just comes out of nowhere. Probably didn't even see it coming. That's rotten. Rotten to the core. Hate to see it. Just a leisurely corner. Not sure what's going on here. I guess maybe he's a lap down and he's letting the guys through, or does he have damage? He might have, yeah, he has damage because he was the guy that spun out, so. That's what that was. Yeah, never seen it again. He's he really shouldn't be parking on the apex, I will say that, if you got a damaged car. Nothing. Ooh, fully expected the guy to hit, get hit by, from behind there. So they look fine. Bradley Carless. He very clearly does have a car, so don't lie to me. I'm sure that guy gets tired of hearing that joke. Yeah, we're just seeing that corner every time because uh, hitting that curbs, upsetting cars. That guy uh, was behind us for a while and then he disappeared, so I wonder what happened to him. That almost was bad. He almost got uh, too far over. Thing. They're racing well, looks like. Guy behind us. Doing just fine. He got a really good uh, run out of the corner. That's the give and take, right? I get I get the distance uh, into the corner. They get the distance out of the corner. It's the trade-off. I, I liked the way I was doing it, though. It seemed to, seemed to work for me. Especially if I was able to grab the draft out of the corner, because then I could make up that speed that I would have otherwise lost. I can hear a Mustang or something behind this guy. Hello Kitty. Got a little loose out of the corner. Yeah, there's that Mustang. I knew I heard it. Looming in the background. It's gonna be nothing. That's gonna be nothing. Stop showing me that corner, please. Not 
that's another thing. Got the iRacing car. Hoping to get a little extra horsepower by sporting the iRacing scheme. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. The Jetta comes flying in. Knocks him out of existence. What on earth happened there? That's the least impressive ma magic trick I've ever seen. Everyone's disappearing. Jet has taken everyone out. No, I'm talking about impressive. That was an impre impressive 360 to save it like that. You Don't like that scheme. That's very immature, but... I like that save. Very immature, I say, as I... Said pee pee poo poo earlier. I laughed to myself. Obviously, I should not be taken seriously. Nothing. Oh, is this whenever the guy gets in the back of him? No, that must have been later. They were having a great battle for a long time. It's a shame it ended the way it did. I'm glad I didn't take the guy out. These Jettas run really quiet. That's a Mustang getting loose. I think that happened right in front of me. Yeah, there I go. I took a look at him as I drove on by. Just got on the gas, I guess, a little hard. I assume those probably can get uh, loose out of the corner a little easier because they probably have more power. So this is a guy that was behind us. I guess he just lost touch. I don't know. I mean, he might have done something that wasn't quite an incident but you know just really messed up a corner a couple times or something that's how he lost that distance but he was keeping up pretty well for a while this is like the uh the snowy day car it's super quiet like a, a snowy day and it's got that like pure white <laughs> that's gonna be nothing this is gonna be nothing green enters a lot harder Still only a lap 11. Move through these a little quicker. It's gonna be nothing. Here's some side by side. Ooh, we almost got into him. I think they switched spots one more time, and then the uh, the, the fed up FedEx car <laughs> runs into him. Get by these because I know it's gonna be nothing. So there, I <laughs> see. I don't. I didn't even let it get too close. He just breaks so much earlier than I than I do. So he does it. And I'm like, ooh, I'm not gonna run in the back of him. That was a fun battle for a long time. We didn't end up finishing near each other, but uh, it made for a, a fun race. So appreciate those guys. Oh no! Why did that car just stop like that? Was he trying to let him by and he just... He overdrove it and I think he was going to let him by, but... <laughs> I mean, the Mustang can't go around you if you're stopping right there. All that momentum's taking him to that one spot, so you can't just slam on the brakes like that. But, uh... I think he just... I think he had good intentions, but it didn't work out so great. Nothing. Is this it? New. Kind of like that color combination. It reminds me of like a uh, strawberry watermelon, like fruity candy. Like a starburst kind of thing. Nothing. Is this your card? No, it's not even right. Oh, no, it is, it is. I forgot it was in this corner. Yeah, he just, uh, he's looking. And then, uh, Pink was trying to get a run off the corner. Purple's trying to get his nose in there to get side by side, and, uh, they just came together. Obviously not intentionally apologized for it, but it's a shame. They had a great battle going. 
And uh, before too long, it's going to be my, me running into the back of that guy just a little bit. So, we'll see that before too long. Uh, nothing. These guys come together? Nope. Is this me hitting the guy? Yep. Yeah, a little bit of Neko, but obviously I was going to hit him anyway. And then uh, I'm not going to take advantage of that after I do it dirty. Just look how early he breaks compared to me. He's not even through this corner before he's breaking. He's breaking super early compared to me. I mean, I'm not breaking until like right here, typically. And he's all the way back here, he starts breaking. So we just took the corners in two very different ways. And even though I was looking out for it, I still got in the back of him. So I kind of go wide here. I let him go because I don't want to gain a spot that way. This guy's a lap down. He wasn't part of it. So I apologize to him. And I mean, he probably wasn't happy about it, but didn't seem too upset. I mean, I didn't spin him at least. And skip these. These are nothing. Looks like uh, it's pretty quiet for a minute. Yep, still quiet. Ooh. Mustang makes its way around that uh, Mazda. Very interesting how these uh, corners are taken so much differently. Yeah, look at me, I get my nose up there. <laughs> and then uh, what I lack off corner, I gain back in the draft, so I think that's why that was working so well for me. And a nice battle here, assuming they're on the same lap. Let's see, 11, 9, 10. Yeah, these are all guys fighting for a spot. So, so the Hello Kitty car found himself in another three car battle later on. I hope uh, it went better for him back there. see me again. Whoop! <laughs> it's right in the frame. And then, uh, try to go low a little bit and I'll gain time. I think I might have had a shot on him eventually. It would have been interesting to see if I could have made the pass. It would have been tough. Is this where he blows the engine? Yep. Yeah, you can tell. I'm glad I uh, saw it. Um, you can tell he shifts too early. Is it maybe right here? I'm not sure how exactly it happened. But uh, he was taking the corner kind of wrong anyway. and Maybe that's what caused him to freak out. Because he went pretty wide. And then he just shifted way too far down. And man, I'm glad I was able to stop it. Because look how fast I'm coming in here. And I see the smoke and I'm like, woo! He's up on it. Pause for a second, make sure he's out of the way, because I know he's going to be real slow all of a sudden. And uh, he's got to pull it over. That stinks. Lap 20. Yeah, uh, race was almost over at that point. I forget how many laps exactly we did, but... Find out here in a second, as we watch the rest of these. Blah, blah, blah. Nothing, 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 nothing. Was it clean at the end otherwise? Please tell me the pink car didn't get hit again. He's good. Did he blow his engine again? Or was he, uh... Just replicating it after the race was over. What happened exactly? Is the race over at this point? And I guess the race is over and he just replicated it, probably out of frustration. Yeah, because that's it. Alright. Yeah, that stinks for him. I mean, he's, he's still got 15. That's not too bad. But, uh, we came in at 6th. 4th of the Mazes. Yeah, good stuff. Much better than I thought I was going to do first time here. So, uh, it's already been a long race, so I'll, uh, I'll save my breath. Get a drink of water after this. And uh, say farewell for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you uh, I hope you enjoyed it.